I want to take you to the White House now, where President the Trump is speaking. The government to determine how best to uh, uh, distribute that uh, within the United States. We'll be working very closely to get that to patients, working with uh, FEMA, working with other parts of the government to make sure that we get that to the patients in need as quickly as possible, because there are patients out there that can benefit from this medicine today that are hospitalized, and we don't want any time to waste for that. And we're also fully committed to continuing to expand the supply of this medicine. We started investing in this back in January, as soon as we became aware of the coronavirus. Uh, this is a, a long time to manufacture. It used to be 12 months. It's now six months. Our scientists have brought that down. And so as we get into the second half of this year, we're able to have many more supplies available to patients, and we're fully committed to working, Mr. President, with you, your administration, to make sure that patients in need can get this important new medicine. Dan, uh, I really appreciate it, but I also noticed the incredible job you've done with HIV, which I, you know, I remember so well 15 years ago, 16 years ago. It was a horrible thing. I lived in New York. I lost a lot of friends that... Uh, through HIV was terrible, and also hepatitis C. Could you give us just a quick uh, moment on uh, how successful that's been? Because I've seen things that are pretty incredible that a lot of people don't know. Absolutely, and I'm reminded of Ambassador Burks and all of her work in this field as well. We've worked, the colleagues at Gilead have collaborated for years, both in the developed and the developing world on HIV. I mean, it's really astonishing. This is one of the reasons why when I joined Gilead, uh, a while ago. The reason I joined is because of this progress. So you remember, of course, yes. back when, when HIV was a death sentence. And, and now, thanks to the scientists at Gilead and, and, and elsewhere, we've turned this into a really chronic disease and also a preventable disease. And I want to give special thanks to the administration for the work on the um, HIV prevention uh, and PrEP program that right. we're working now in many uh, particularly uh, disadvantaged parts of our country to uh, get more patients on prevention, because the best way, of course, to, to stop and to end this epidemic is a combination of treatment and prevention. And in hepatitis C, I'm really happy to say that uh, the scientists came up with a cure some years ago, um, and uh, we've made tremendous progress, and including uh, some really creative new uh, arrangements in the United States, like with the state of Louisiana, uh, where we've looked at ways to look at uh, programs to make sure that every patient in a state is able to get the opportunity to be cured. So I'm very proud that we have this kind of science, but also that we put this science in a way that gets access to patients. Um, and with well. hepatitis C, it's an actual cure. It's yeah, more than this is just actually a cure. keeping it down, it's, a, it's an actual cure. 12-week oral therapy cure. I mean, yeah. we're still working on the HIV cure. We haven't given up. It's a much more difficult problem. We'll probably get to long-acting medicines first. Is it a more We're complex problem? Much more complex, and this is now I'm really embarrassed to talk about this in front of Ambassador Burke. She should talk about this, but uh, it's a complex to, 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 to get the virus completely suppressed. And where would you put corona in that level of complexity? Well, I think we're still, it's early days on coronavirus. I think this is the first step today. And uh, I think what we'll see, and it may be like with, with other viruses that we've seen, that with this base step, with an antiviral like remdesivir, that the way to actually even get better results is to add medicines on top of an antiviral. That has been, that was really how we were able to get HIV to a, to a chronic illness by combination therapy. Yeah, so this is the beginning. Uh, there's a lot of great companies out there that are working on this that we're collaborating with, uh, my colleagues in the industry. And uh, we're all working together to, to do everything we can with COVID. Well, it's very exciting. And just so you know, so Dan's making and the company a very major contribution uh, towards helping people. So we very much appreciate that. I mean, I'm talking about a monetary contribution as well as more importantly, what you're doing scientifically. So we appreciate it very much.